name is Shari. I live in Long Beach. Um, so I lost my house in the storm. I had everything um, destroyed. I had five feet of water in my house and I only have a ranch, so everything got destroyed. So um, my friend lives next door, works for Laura, and within 24 hours he had his crew in. And they came in and they had to get everything out because there could have been mold issues. So they came in, they stripped my entire house and had it cleaned and was down pretty much to the studs. And I had to live somewhere else. We had no electricity um, or heat for weeks because of Long Beach. So they couldn't really start doing work in the house till probably, I think it was almost close to February till I started getting um, heat and electric and hot water. And from then on, the guys moved really quickly. I was able to move back into my house in um, April 1st. Still had a couple of things left to do, but I would say in eight weeks, they we went to the stores and we picked out the floors. And I was with Mateo and Roman, and we looked at a million floors and we walked on them and they picked these out. I thought they were crazy, but they worked for me. And um, they decided they wanted to do all the windows. Not all the windows had water on them, but they figured while we're doing this, you don't want to take a chance. So they replaced all my windows. They picked, helped me pick out the tiles. I kept going to the showroom and they would pick out the tiles for me. And um, I had a, a little a hallway over there with a door. Mateo said, let's open it. That's like from the 50s when they built the house. Let's open it up. So it opened it up. And I had um, a second bathroom in my bedroom that didn't have a shower and we decided that since it's the, the beach and I have company so much so they decided to put in a second stall um, shower which came out beautiful and they did all the work. I had um, uh, this guy Doug that was from one of the crews that was working because I had Rick as my project manager and he was always helping me out and telling me what to do and then he gave me this guy Doug that was on a crew and Doug just came in and just bammed everything out for me because I was flipping out living with my mother. <laughs> and I was like, you have to get this work done. And they did. They put in every single thing that's in my house they did for me. They were even able to keep this table. They, they cleaned it and dried it. And so this table was before the flood, but it was something I got. So I'm going to refinish it. But they were able to pack up all my wood furniture and keep stuff that I wanted to keep. They helped me pick out countertops and... They just did everything that my house from top to bottom could look like. I would totally feel comfortable. I think for me it's a little different of a situation because it was the hurricane. So I think I was a little more probably emotional and things were taking long and I was trying to, to rush things along. But it really in the end when I looked at it, it wasn't really a lure. It was Long Beach. It was the flood. It was the hurricane. And, you know, But everything that I asked for... For Laura, they did. They went out of their way to do it. They helped me pick everything out at a time when somebody does one bathroom and you have to pick out countertops in every single bathroom and tiles for everything in room and floors and handles and it's very overwhelming. You know, I went into the showroom with Mateo and Roman and we would just sit there for hours and they would say, this goes with this, this goes with this. You know, I only did a kitchen once and it took me like a year and I was like, it took me six months to figure out pull handles I wanted. But they went through everything with me, and I think that the fact that they've come back anytime I've had an issue with anything, and I know that they're going to come back for anything, is probably the most important reason why I think people would want to lure in their homes, because it's just not, they come and then they're gone. They're just always here for anything you call them for, or any of their subcontract. Just because I dealt with Nassau Suffolk, who did all my heating and stuff, and I still call them today, and I'm like, and a uh, socket's out. And they're like, we'll be there tomorrow, we'll fix your socket, and it's so nice not having to think of looking for an electrician for something. So, yeah, I think that they stand by their work, and they, they made this amazing house for me in a few months, which is crazy. I was on the best trip of my entire life. I did. I after the hurricane because I know so many people in Long Beach. My friend across the street needed someone, and my mom needed her house redone, and my friend April's um, whole house was ruined. So I didn't know anything about this pointless trip until my uh, general contractor Rick told me he was going on a trip in February, and I was like, "Oh no, no, you are not leaving me when I'm about to get my work done." And he's like, "I swear I'll be back in a week." And then he came back and told me, oh my God, this was the best trip you can't imagine. And that there's people that are 
um, customers on the trip. So he told me to call Joanne, who it was like my lifesaver in Allure, because she helped me get loans when they wouldn't give me loans and worked with me forever. And then she called and told me that she got me on this trip. And, you know, I thought, okay, it's a trip. I'm not so social. There's going to be 46 people. I'm going to have to see these people every day. But it was the greatest trip of my life. The place is crazy. It's something that I say to people all the time. Everybody works for companies with people, and nobody gets to go on these trips a year just for being a customer. It's crazy that he takes these people away and treats them like top notch. I mean, we had butlers. We had champagne delivered to our room. We had everything that we could ever think of on this trip. And when I found out I get to go next year, I was like ready to rip down my house and start all over again just to get the points just to be able to go on this trip. It was just something he so doesn't need to do and he's such a part of. He's not a person that sends them away, doesn't take part in it. He took part in it and it was the greatest trip ever. I am going to recommend people. I um, I think I told you that in the, in the next year or so I'm looking to open up a bed and breakfast and in Long Beach, so I know that I'm gonna have to do a lot of work, and I think that'll also give a lot of referrals when people come to see a new bed and breakfast that's been, you know, ripped down and, and torn up again. I try to give people information from here. This is not the best time to be <laughs> referring people. There are a lot of bad places still in Long Beach, but I still tell people about the trip, and I still tell people about Allure, and I would, there's nobody else I would ever refer. And especially because my best friend Roman lives next door and he loves working for Allure and he gets great jobs and he refers people. And so, yeah, I, I would never have anything bad to say about them. Well, I would say that you should definitely use Allure to do all your work. And the fact that Sal is an owner of this big company, but he will be the first one to pick up your personal phone call or your email or a text where most people, it has to go through 10 people first. And he will make sure that if he doesn't get to your house, that someone right below him gets to your house and answers your problems really quickly. I think that their work is great. I love that it's one-stop shopping. You're not running from location to location to look for, you know, cabinets or floors or walls. And their teams that came in were really nice, were really professional. They came when they were supposed to come. They left when they were supposed to leave. They were not dirty. Even when one day my bathroom was dirty, Rick had cleaning people in the next day, cleaning my bathroom. I'm sorry, these guys left the toilet dirty. I wasn't even living here, and it was like, okay, thank you for cleaning my bathroom. So yeah, I think they went out of their way at a time when it was their probably worst time when they didn't even have enough workers or enough people to do it, and they were stressed, and all of us were so stressed that it's amazing. We all came through it liking each other and recommending each other because it was the worst stressful situation, and people thought... They took on too many jobs, but they were just trying to take on jobs because no one else was coming to the rescue. And that's why I ended up referring them to people because it was probably a week after my job, the, the hurricane, that my friend was like, I can't get anybody to come to my house. And, and one day I called Allura and they, they showed up to my friend April's house and did her house. So yeah, the fact that it was a crazy time and these people were here in 24 hours helping us clean out my wet furniture, doing things they should never had to have done. You can't ever, ever forget about that stuff.